my best advice for someone that wants to become a entrepreneur or as we have phrased it a ecopreneur is you just have to have that passion and that drive that no matter what you're going to succeed and you're not going to take no for an answer my name is bio joe renwick i work at green energy biofuels i'm the co-owner and ceo our business is a recycling company and we recycle both waste vegetable oil as well as animal fat and we convert or refine those waste oils into a usable biofuel feedstock or biodiesel itself. So we do two different things. We refine waste to put into the biofuel market to other companies to make fuel and then we also produce it ourselves. How I got into this was I just needed fuel for my diesel fuel truck. And I met a guy that knew how to make biodiesel and the, got bit by the biodiesel bug. And now 11 years later, we have 26 employees. We've got a fleet of 20 some odd trucks and three locations that we crank out a lot of biodiesel. Just in 12 months uh, here at this plant in Warrenville, we have sold almost 16 million pounds of finished product biofuel. We separated the business that all the cooking oil collections from restaurants explicitly go to Winsboro for processing. And we bring all the high volume industrial processing to this plant here in Warrenville because we have a rail spur that we can sell massive volumes of finished product over the rail, uh, 25,000 gallons every load when we sell, which is huge for our company to be able to take product that we process and put it on the rail. And then we're able to sell that nationwide almost. So transportation for our business is wildly important. So that's just by the rail, but to get that product that we can refine and sell, we actually bring everything over the road to our plant. And we do that with tractor trailer truck tankers, like what you'd see riding on the interstate. Uh, we also do that with a series of vacuum trucks that we go to the different restaurants and we suck the oil from a collection container that they have at their restaurant and then we bring all of that volume back to the facility for processing. So transportation is huge. Actually, probably 50% of our staff is just drivers and they perform a really incredibly important role for our business because without the product coming in the door, I've got nothing to process and nothing to sell. And so we are very much in the transportation business. We have a fleet of around 20 trucks now about half of them are vacuum trucks like imagine a propane delivery truck so it's a big tank but it has a vacuum pump on it that we vacuum oil out of restaurants so it's very specialized to collecting waste oil um, then we have a fleet of tractor trailer trucks with big huge tankers and some of those tankers can actually vacuum as well um, which requires a really specific tractor trailer truck and so before starting this business i just had a pickup truck and that's actually what we started this business with, was a pickup truck and a pump and a container in the bed of my truck. And then from there, we bought a specialized vacuum truck and then another specialized truck. And then now we've got 20 some odd trucks, uh, but they're all highly specialized to what we do because there's really nobody creating these vehicles for the specific tasks that we, we use them for. So if you're interested in the biofuel industry, I would say that's the most important thing for you looking at, do you wanna do this and how do I get into this? It really starts with that desire and that passion. So if you rewind to me prior to getting into biofuel, um, I was just, I majored in business. I went to the Citadel, um, actually found a, a real high interest in computers. And so I kind of double majored in computers and business, which has nothing to do with making biofuel out of vegetable oil um, and so it just took the passion and the drive that I wanted to get into this and so I wasn't necessarily fully educated to this career path I just had majored in business and I wanted to get into this business and so for me you know it really comes down to what do you want to do with your life if you're interested in biofuel I would say almost any major that you would go through in college you could seek a job or employment with our company. Um, we've hired engineering majors, we've hired English majors, we've hired history majors, we've hired chemists. There's so many different facets to this business that I need somebody that knows how to run a business and do logistics to plan the trucks to come in and out and haul our product. 
but then I also need somebody to fix and maintain those trucks, and we have full-time people for that. I need people to drive those trucks. I need people to operate this facility to pump product, product from tank to tank and then maintain the pumps and the electrical controls and the valves that run the plant. So we need a little bit of everything. And so it's interesting, you know, it really just comes down to do you want to be in the biodiesel or biofuel industry? And if so, then you likely can find a path to working in the biodiesel industry. It just takes the desire on the front end and it doesn't really 100% come down to what you major in in school as to if, whether or not you can get into this industry.